tonight's story is Mr. Little's Noisy Train. Mr. Little was about to take his freight train out of the railway yard and suddenly he heard a scraping and fluttering noise coming from the front of the engine. He opened the smoke box and found a bat cleaning the chimney. Who's there? called Mr. Little when he heard a huffing and puffing sound coming from inside the cab. He climbed up the steps and carefully opened the firebox and inside he found a dragon making a fire. From the refrigerator van kept behind the engine came slithering and clonking noises. What's going on? said Mr. Little and he quickly opened the door and he found a polar bear and a penguin sliding around on box of ice. We'll never leave on time, said Mr. Little as he heard strange humming and grating sounds coming from the hopper. Mr. Little opened the door and he found a desert rat doing a sand dance. Splashing and gurgling sounds came from inside the tank wagon. Now what, said Mr. Little as he climbed up the ladder. He opened the hatch and found, to his surprise, an alligator taking a bath. From the guard's van at the rear of the train came muffled whistling and flapping sounds. I don't believe this, said Mr. Little, and he opened the door and out popped an owl blowing a whistle and waving a flag. Toot, toot. With a clink, clank, clunk, the train started to move and so did Mr. Little. He ran past the owl, past the alligator, the desert rat, the polar bear, the penguin, the dragon and the bat. And he jumped onto the engine just in time. And with a scrape and a flutter and a huff and a puff and a slither and a clunk and a splash and a gurgle and a whistle and a clink, clank, clunk and a very loud poot, poot, Mr. Little's noisy train rattled out of the yard. That was a funny story. Have you been on a train? Night, night. <laughs>